Gavin Newsom, the man who's been ruining the lives of landlords and investors for years, right? He's making California investors and landlords regret the day they decided to get into the real estate game in the state of California. Been doing that for a long time. Well, he just gave us a big clue that he's done keeping the ruining to just California. I'm pretty sure him and Kamala are teaming up and he's going to be ruining the lives of real estate investors in the entire country. Let's talk about it and what happened and what's making me think this. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we got some news. This just kind of came out uh, over the weekend, and this is a big deal, right? This is not good, in my opinion. On the surface, it sounds good because it's kind of logical, finally. So I'm sure people in California are excited about like the fact that logic is taking over, but I, d I don't think they're doing that uh, for the right reasons. I think they're doing that to, to pose Mr. Newsom here uh, for a run, okay? So for those of you not in the know, uh, Gavin Newsom uh, finally what appears to be coming to his senses and he's putting out orders for every city in California to start figuring out how they're going to get rid of all these homeless encampments, right? So people in California are like, oh, thank you, God, finally. We don't have to walk down the street and walk through a homeless encampment and get like stabbed, robbed, raped, or killed, right? You know, so it all sounds good. But, dude, this homeless issue has been going on in California for friggin' long time, right? And uh, not doing anything, not doing anything, not doing anything. Finally, Gavin, who I believe is just an older version of Patrick Bateman. I mean, honestly. I mean, dude, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, it's, it's an uncanny resemblance. Seriously, that is Patrick Bateman uh, in the future. But anyway, so. He's finally doing something logical here and taking care of that and getting all the cities uh, to figure out how they are going to remove all of the homeless people who just like, you know, have been pooping on the streets of California. Right. So. Why is that happening? Why is that happening? Does Gavin Newsom finally get it? Does he finally believe that these are the types of housing policies that are good for California? Is he literally doing a complete 180? No, I don't think so. I think what's happening is Gavin, who, to be honest, I honestly, the whole time, I thought that he was going to be the sleeper candidate, right? I always thought they were going to get Joe out of there uh, and they were going to slide Gavin in there, okay? Didn't happen. Came close. But they ended up sliding Kamala in there. Now, I believe Gavin's making a play here uh, because the biggest thing that Trump would be able to do, uh, you know, Trump and Vance would be able to do when going after a Kamala Harris, Gavin Newsom ticket would be to just look at the just, just, just atrocities that Gavin has done uh, to people who own homes in the state of California, right? That would be the, the, the biggest thing, right? They would, that would be their punching bag, right? They would be going shot after shot after shot over his record on housing in California, his record on the homeless in California, his record on crime in California. These are the biggest issues that you could just attack Gavin for, right? So in my opinion, this is a calculated political move. I don't think he's changed his mind on housing. I don't think he's changed his mind on the homeless. And I don't think he's changed his mind on taking tax money from hardworking Americans to pay for all those like glamour projects. I believe he knows that in the general election, they need to get independence. And the radicalness of his policies in California, you know, Trump and J.D. are going to be able to attack those. So I believe this is a preemptive move so he can get up there on the debate stage when he eventually gets named the VP to Kamala Harris. And he could say that he ended the homeless problem in California. So this whole thing, in my opinion, guys, uh, this is just a political move. Uh, in preparation for Gavin becoming the vice president. I, you know, you would have asked me back in the day uh, when Joe was running, like, you know, when it became clear Joe's getting old and they were going to replace him, I would have said that Gavin Newsom was probably going to get the nomination for the presidency. Uh, but, you know, looking back on it 2020, now you see it, Kamala as the president, Gavin as the vice president. That's a, that's a balanced ticket, y'all. And then he's going to be able to make these claims that he's actually good for housing and good for real estate in California, which is going to be very, 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 very scary uh, for anybody who 
is interested in investing in real estate, who owns properties in this uh, in this country, is in the real estate space, right? Because make no mistake about it, guys. Sure, he's going to say a lot of good stuff, and he's a really charismatic speaker. He's literally Patrick Bateman, I'm telling you, dude. Patrick Bateman, he's very charismatic, too, before he grabs those hookers and then cuts their heads off. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Gavin's kind of like that. He's going to be pitching all this nonsense, trying to bring the center people over to the left, and when him and Kamala, if they were to win the election, in my opinion, if they got into power, dude, that would be just atrocious. Because if the rest of the country's housing policies, landlord policies, crime policies start going the way of what this dude has done to the state of California, holy crap, folks, we are, we are, we are in for a ruthless rude awakening. California is literally the worst state in the United States of investors. My business is generally like 90% of my business, guys, is helping people who live in California get their money out of the state of California and into rental properties and other markets because they cannot stand what California has become. Rent control, eviction moratoriums, having to pay tenants new rent if you decide to evict them, if you're ever able to evict them. Housing taxes if you leave the property vacant, if you try to flip it, you name it. They have tried to go after the rights of landlords and attack landlords in the state of California. They're even working on something now where landlords can't charge pet fees. Biden and Harris have talked about going after like rental application fees and other fees they call junk fees, right? So what this man has done in California, if he gets on the national stage as the VP, y'all, holy crap, we are in for a rude awakening. That's not going to be good if the USA goes the way of California. So this move, which on its head seems like it's good, Gavin Newsom finally doing something about the homeless problem, calculated, guys, this dude... People are playing checkers. He's playing chess. He's thinking three, four, five steps ahead. He's not just making the right move here. He's not just doing the right thing. This is a move to get a foothold in the office, man, because they know uh, that the USA, dude, people are backing Trump right now because Bidenomics, the last four years, the economy has went to shit. The housing market has went to shit. People are tired of it. So this move, this is their big swing to get this motherfucker in there, and uh, it's, it's going to be scary. Uh, if, if he starts doing that, because he is a very good debater. He's a master debater. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.